everyone. It is Saturday. I am in Colesboro right now. Uh, did not get out to the boat today, or this week. Did not get out to the boat this week. Uh, yeah, it was cold and snowy. The roads were bad. I was sick a couple of days, so it just didn't happen, which is unfortunate. But uh, I still have news. Um, and yeah, first bit is insurance again. I think maybe it's still in the works. Um, and then, yeah, the other thing I've been working on is thinking about the electrical systems in the boat. So I've been thinking about what to do next on the boat. And I've realized that I really don't have any lights in there and really it was <clears throat> more of I wanted to get more lighting in the boat right it's just it's hard sometimes to see what you're doing you've got to have so then my battery went dead and yeah and then I started doing research on electrical and the more I researched on electrical the more I realized that all of the electrical, what little there is on my boat is not good. So now I've kind of taken a step back. And what I want to do is redo the electrical on the boat, which will not be hard. There's about six wires right now. But <clears throat> this is the point, right? Is like, there's six wires. They are all basically going either to an engine or a battery. And so this is the opportune moment to say, hey, you know what, this doesn't work. Let's build something that does. So that is my plan at the moment to build a setup that works for the boat. What I want out of this is gonna be a battery charging system off the engine um, that's going to involve either some sort of regulator or some sort of um, DC to DC charger so that I could choose different batteries types depending on what I can find <clears throat> then I want um, navigation lights of course got to add that in so that's going to be a system um, we want interior lights I want, I want to have USB power, right? Like I can charge my laptop off of USB. I can charge phones off of USB. Uh, all of these are options. So I don't think I have anything that I need to take on the boat that needs 110 volts. So I don't know that I need an inverter. On the other hand, an inverter might not be a bad idea. And finally, the final system is I want to have a way to manually turn on the bilge pump, which I don't have right now, but I think should be easy to add in. So weeks and weeks and weeks ago, I was trying to wire up my nap lights and I bought new bulbs, which are the wrong bulbs, apparently. And I bought marine grade wire and I tested the bulbs individually on the length of wire. And then I plugged the plugs in, I actually replaced the wire on the fixtures but I wired them up the same way that they'd been wired previously. And when I tested the bulbs individually, they were bright. And then when I tested them together, they were dimish, right? They weren't as bright as they were when I tested them individually. And what I've learned since researching electrical systems for the boat is that whoever set that up first wired those lights in series and this is important because they're 12 volt lights and they expect 12 volts apparently 
And I'm still wrapping my head around this. But if you put those lights in series, they're going to divide up that voltage. So each of those lights is only getting six volts, which means that they're only at half brightness, which under, which now makes sense to why they were dimmer than when I had tried them individually. So what I'm going to have to do is go back and rewire those connections so that they are in parallel, <clears throat> at which point they will be drawing 12 volts at twice the amps, which is okay because they're little LED bulbs and they draw like 0.1 amps. So we're, I think we'll be all right. There is so much going on with electrical. I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but also solar charging system. So that's going to be the last thing. I mean, at least for the moment is a solar charging system and that I think if I can get all that stuff, if I can get the, the, the battery, like all that main battery system stuff redone, get a charger, right? Cause right now my engine just has a DC generator. Um, so I want to get a charger, want to get solar charging, and then want to get the nav lights figured out, you know, and there's going to be right. Like there's three subsystems in the nav lights. You've got, well, I mean, you've got your nav lights, right? That's the, red green um and then the stern light but then you also need a steaming light and you need an anchor light right so there's going to be three systems there and then uh you know interior lights who knows how many i'll have there um you know and yeah and then and then you know some some usb charging and that's it's gonna be gonna be a lot of switches and fuses and stuff so but first thing, first thing that we're going to focus in on is getting the battery and charging set up. And I still have to look into whether or I just, just get a charger, right? And then it just goes to 12 volt or do I have one outlet, right? Have, and I have an inverter charger with one outlet in the boat that I then, then just daisy chain a bunch of extension cords and power strips off of. If you're a fire inspector or a boat surveyor, I did not actually just say that. But in seriousness, I think that is where we're at right now. So I've been doing hours and hours of research on all this, and I'm hoping that soon I can have some more concrete ideas. But electrical boat marine electrical is just a, a massive rabbit hole that you can jump into and just never stop falling and that's it for this week of sick time electrical rabbit hole